Hello everyone in Facebook world. I'm gonna do some makeup. I woke up not feeling so hot, so some water instead of coffee. I have a super migraine, but hopefully it'll subside. All right, so I already sprayed my face with my Aveda hydrating mist. So now I have to pull everything out of my bag because I did my makeup yesterday from work. So I'm gonna do just like a subtle bronzy type look since my tan is coming pretty quickly. So I just wanna enhance my tan. All right, so I'm using my MAC Painterly eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to use my modern, let me see. Let me see what this palette's got for neutral. Okay, I'll use my Juvia's Place Masquerade. I'm obsessed with this palette, but my colors I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one for my dark and this one for my light color. Oh, you guys can't see, dark light. So I'm just going right in the crease line with like the bigger end of my brush so that it's less to blend after. And just slowly bring the shadow up. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Starting in the corner, bringing it in towards my inner corner of my eye and lightly going back and forth and sort of bringing it up not too close to the brows but just a little bit so that's the dark I'm actually going to do this color as my light which is like a gold so I'm going to bring that from the inner corner out. And same on the other side. And then I am gonna take the same brush using my Sephora color switch I'm going to take the brush and just clean it off and then blend out that line a little bit. There's not much to blend, but. And then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And in this color called, uh, maybe not this one, I lied. I'm going to take this one, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This one is the That Glow edition. And I'm gonna use this color called Golden Bronze. And just put that on my brow bone for a little bit of a highlight. All right, so under my eyes, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a darker color. This is from my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to take this color and just put it right under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back into this one and grab that same gold color and put that right in the inner corner. And underneath. Just 
give me the illusion of being awake. Woke up this morning with a killer migraine and my body's killing me from all the cleaning and bending and nonsense I did with the girls yesterday to clean the basement out. So I'm just cleaning off my brush and blending the underneath a little bit just to give me some sort of awake look. Then I'm going to take my Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Wipe. And just clean under my eye. There's not much, but still a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to take my tinted moisturizer. This is my Aveda Mineral Tinted Moisturizer in Poplar. I'm just going to spread it on. You know I'm not feeling well if I woke up and didn't go to the beach before work. Not today. I do put some on my neck just because in the summer I suffer from white neck syndrome because the sun never hits my neck because the twins cover the sun's path and right, I'm gonna take like a soft flat brush and just go over and blend And then I'm going to take my powder brush and my MAC NC40 and just go over my tinted moisturizer. Hi there. All right. Ah. And then for a blush bronzer, I have this stuff. It's like 10 years old probably. It's from Arbonne. And I really am digging the color this year. I clearly haven't used it a lot if there's that much left. But it's like a, almost just like a shiny version of like tan skin. I use that on my cheeks. It's not really pink, which I like. It just gives like a nice glow. And then I'm going to use my liquid eyeliner. NYC brand. $2.99 at Walmart, my favorite.
and I stay really close to the lash line as I apply it because I can always make it thicker if I want to. Always putting my pinky on my face for control. Then just a tiny bit of a cat eye. Now I take out a tiny bit of it. See, we all make boo-boos sometimes. Beauty of makeup, your boo-boos are not permanent. And then, mascara. Voluminous. Butterfly Intensa, L'Oreal. I am due for a lash perm again, for sure. So this is definitely a very basic, everyday type look. Not as crazy as some of my greens and purples. But it's nice to switch it up sometimes. See, my headache's going away. You guys make me feel better. Look at that. That and the excited migraine I just pumped <laughs> into my body. Oh, the Anastasia brow pencil's the best. I love it. I even used it yesterday. I'll show you what I did with it. Because I felt like I needed a little bit of extra eyeliner so I actually used it as eyeliner and it worked great. So that's my next step. Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. Get it at Sephora. And I just brush my brows into place. I have the best eyebrow waxer, Samantha Valerie from my salon. She gives me the best shape. I like my brows nice and full. So then I just fill them in very lightly. And then I take that end again and just brush it in. Just to give a little definition but not looking all crazy. And then yesterday I took the pencil and I just ran it along. the half side of my eye and it was nice. 
and it lasted and it was soft it wasn't harsh so double function for this bad boy now you never want to put eyeliner all the way on your lash line because it does actually make your eyes look smaller so you always want to do from here out don't bring it all the way in if you're gonna do anything all the way in, you want it to be like a nude or a gold to actually give your eyes the appearance of being bigger um, I can show you because I, I have big eyes anyways but it makes up for my lack of having a big butt so this is just like a nude from Smashbox, it's called Bear. So if you wanted to put eyeliner, you would do a light one here. And it totally opens up your eyes. So you can see how big this eye looks. And if you really want to look big, you can run it all the way. I just look, you look like awake and bright eyed and bushy tailed, so I have to do it on the other side too. Yeah, so it just gives you like almost like doll like big glossy eyes. Alright, what else do I need? A nap. I'm just kidding. Um, for lips. Hmm. Something subtle. What do we got? Alright, so I'm going to use for my liner. It's called Strip Down. It needs to be sharpened. Open that up. More or less just defining the line. Not overdrawing. I'm not trying to be a Kardashian or anything. That whole scary big lip thing is kind of terrifying. So many young girls getting lip injections. I like to see how my face is going to age gracefully, hopefully. And then work magic with makeup when it doesn't look graceful. Oh, so this is Stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it's just subtle. So this is probably my most natural look that I would go for. Either this or no makeup at all. There's never an in-between. <laughs> it's either no makeup or makeup. I wish I had freckles that I could do like the no foundation thing, but I don't. Uh, yeah, so I hope everyone has enjoyed this look. Again, this is a super natural, like everyday look. I know that I don't do those much, but Here's one. So I hope everyone has a fabulous, today is Wednesday, I think. I think it's Wednesday. I'm gonna go flip some bricks and then head off to work. So enjoy this beautiful sunny Wednesday and I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks, Ashley. This is my natural look. I woke up like this, just kidding, I wish. All right, bye guys.